As the years passed, Siddharth's practice of mindfulness deepened, and he became known throughout the region for his wisdom and inner peace. People from neighboring villages would often visit him, seeking his guidance in dealing with their own challenges, including overthinking. Siddharth was always welcoming and patient with those who sought his counsel. He would sit with them beneath the same magnificent tree where he had once poured out his own troubles to his revered teacher, Buddha. He would share the teachings he had learned and help others on their journey to find inner peace. One of the villagers who came to Siddharth for guidance was a young man named Raj. He had been plagued by overthinking for as long as he could remember, and it had started to take a toll on his happiness and well-being. Raj approached Siddharth with a heavy heart, hoping that he could offer him some solace. Siddharth listened attentively as Raj shared his struggles with overthinking. He explained how his mind was constantly racing, analyzing every situation, and worrying about the future. Siddharth nodded in understanding, for he had once been in Raja's shoes. With great compassion, Siddharth began to teach Raj the same principles of mindfulness that he had learned from Buddha. He explained how overthinking often arises from our attachment to thoughts and our failure to fully embrace the present moment. Siddharth encouraged Raj to start with simple mindfulness exercises, such as focusing on his breath and observing his thoughts without judgment. Raj was eager to learn and committed himself to the practice. He visited Siddharth regularly to seek guidance and share his progress. With time and dedication, he began to experience a transformation. His mind, once in constant turmoil, gradually grew calmer and more serene. One day, as Raj sat with Siddharth beneath the wise old tree, he expressed his gratitude. Siddharth, he said, your teachings and guidance have brought so much peace and clarity into my life. I am no longer a prisoner of my own thoughts. I've learned to live in the present and embrace each moment as it comes. Siddharth smiled warmly at Raj and replied, I am delighted to hear of your progress, Raj. Remember that the journey to inner peace is ongoing. Just as I sought guidance from Buddha and found it through mindfulness, you too have discovered the power of the present moment. Continue to cultivate mindfulness, and it will serve you well throughout your life. Over time, Raj became known as a beacon of mindfulness in his own right. He, too, began to help others in his village who struggled with overthinking. Together with Siddharth, they held mindfulness sessions, teaching their fellow villagers the art of living in the present and finding peace within themselves. As the village embraced mindfulness more fully, it underwent a remarkable transformation. The people were less burdened by the weight of their thoughts, and the atmosphere in the village became one of serenity and contentment. It seemed as though the very air was lighter, and the smiles on the faces of the villagers grew more genuine. In this way, the wisdom of Siddharth and the teachings of Buddha, passed down through the ages, brought about a profound change in the village and its people. The simple yet powerful practice of mindfulness had not only helped Siddharth overcome his own overthinking but had also allowed him to guide others on their own journeys to inner peace. And so, in the tranquil village surrounded by lush green mountains, the legacy of mindfulness continued to thrive, reminding all who encountered it that by living in the present moment and letting go of unnecessary worries, one could find the profound and enduring gift of inner peace, just as Buddha had taught centuries ago. As the years passed, Siddharth's reputation as a wise and compassionate teacher grew beyond the boundaries of his village. Travelers from distant lands came to seek his guidance, drawn by tales of his transformative teachings. Among these travelers was a man named Anand. Anand had heard of Siddharth's ability to help people find inner peace and free themselves from the burdens of overthinking. He had traveled far and wide, searching for answers to the restless thoughts that had troubled him for years. 
When he finally reached Siddharth's village, he was filled with hope. Anand approached Siddharth with a sense of humility, sharing the turmoil within his mind. Siddharth, he began, I have wandered through life carrying the heavy burden of overthinking. My mind is a constant storm of thoughts, and I long for the serenity that you are said to provide. Siddharth welcomed Anand with a warm smile and listened attentively to his story. He knew that Anand's journey toward inner peace would not be easy, but he also understood the transformative power of mindfulness. Siddharth assured Anand that he would help him embark on this path. Together, Siddharth and Anand began their work. Siddharth introduced Anand to the foundational teachings of mindfulness, just as he had learned them from Buddha and shared with Raj and Maya. They spent hours in quiet meditation, focusing on the present moment, and observing their thoughts without judgment. At first, Anand found it challenging to quiet the storm within his mind. The torrent of thoughts seemed unrelenting, but Siddharth encouraged him to persist, reminding him that mindfulness was a journey, not an instant destination. They practiced mindfulness in the midst of daily tasks, bringing their full attention to each action, whether it was sipping tea or taking a leisurely walk. As the days turned into weeks and then months, Anand noticed subtle changes within himself. The once overwhelming stream of thoughts began to slow, and moments of peace and stillness emerged. Anand felt a growing sense of clarity and inner calm that he had never known before. One day, as Anand and Siddharth sat beneath the ancient tree, Anand shared his newfound insight. Siddharth, he said, I am amazed by the transformation that mindfulness has brought into my life. My thoughts, once a relentless storm, have become like ripples on a serene pond. I am deeply grateful for your guidance. Siddharth nodded with a profound understanding. Anand, your journey mirrors the journey of countless others who have found solace in mindfulness. Remember that the practice is not about eliminating thoughts but about changing your relationship with them. By observing them without attachment, you gain mastery over your own mind. Anand continued to study with Siddharth, deepening his mindfulness practice and sharing his experiences with others who sought relief from overthinking. His journey became an inspiration to many, and Siddharth's teaching spread far and wide, touching the lives of people across distant lands. In this way, the wisdom of Siddharth, rooted in the timeless teachings of Buddha, continued to ripple outward, offering the transformative power of mindfulness to all who sought inner peace. The story of the once overthinking young man had now become a legacy, reminding the world that the path,